This LOS is distinguished between the operating and non-operating components of the income statement. So again, we're going through the financial statements for Danone, and this was from the CFA Level 1 reading on the income statement. There was an example, so we're sticking with this example. And you can see I put here on the right-hand side, uh, this is the operating segment. Here's our operating income, it ends there, which is our earnings before interest and taxes. So we can see some of the items of operating income, sales minus cost of goods sold, minus selling general admin expenses, research and development expenses, other revenue uh, and expense gives us our trading, operating income, and then we can add in some other operating income or expense. What would be an example of an other operating income or expense? It could be the gain or loss on the disposal of fixed asset, which is an unusual or infrequent. It may be infrequent, but it's still part of a normal operating activities. So below the operating income, as we can see, EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, Below operating income, we get interest revenue or expenses. The interest expense is the result of financing activities and would be classified as a non-operating expense by non-financial services company. Um, an example of other revenue or expense would be the realized loss on sale of available for sale securities. Again, it's an investing activity and would be classified as a non-operating loss by a manufacturing company. So then we have our earnings before tax, EBT, or income before tax, our income from tax, our income from fully consolidated companies, share of profits of some associates, which gives us our net income from continuing operations. Below that, we would have net income or loss from discontinued operations, and that would be reported net of tax. Finally, we come to a, what we call our bottom line, top line revenue, bottom line uh, net income. And we can see for 2009, that was uh, 1521. Attributable to the group was 1361 because we had this item here attributable to minority interest. What is that? It's when we consolidate uh, financial statements of subsidiaries, even where we don't own 100%, we consolidate all the revenues and all the expenses. And then we get to the net income. We have what's attributable to the group. The available, uh, attributable to the minority interest is the percentage of the subsidiaries where we don't own uh, 100%, okay? So a practice question here to check our understanding. Assume US GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, applies unless otherwise noted. For the most recent year, a manufacturing company reports the following items on their income statement. Interest expense, 62,500. Loss on disposal of fixed assets, 50,000. Realized gain on sale of available for sale securities, 17,750. Which of the items is classified as an operating item in the company's income statement? A, the interest expense, B, the loss on disposal of fixed assets, or C, the realized gain on sale of available for sale securities? The correct answer is B, the loss on the disposal of fixed assets is an unusual or infrequent item, but it's still part of normal operating activities. The interest expense is the result of financing activities and would be classified as non-operating expenses by non-financial service companies. And finally, the realized gain on sale of available for sale securities is, all, is an investing activity and would also be classified as non-operating gain by a manufacturing company. Non-recurring items and non-operating items. IFRS require that items of income or expense that are material and are relevant to the understanding of the entity's financial performance should be disclosed separately. Unusual or infrequent items are likely to meet these criteria. Under US GAAP, which allow items to be shown as extraordinary, items that are usual or infrequent, but not both, cannot be shown as extraordinary. Items that are unusual or infrequent are shown as part of a company's continuing operations. For example, restructuring charges, such as cost to close plants and employee termination costs, are considered part of a company's ordinary activities. And as another example, gains and losses arising when a company sells an asset or part of a business for more or less than its carrying value are also disclosed separately on the income statement. 
These are not considered extraordinary items under U.S. GAAP, but such sales are considered ordinary business activities. Changes in accounting policies. Changing in accounting policies are reported through retrospective application. That means you need to restate your previous year's financial results using the new uh, policy. Retrospective application means that the financial statements for all fiscal years shown in a company's financial report are presented as if the newly adopted accounting principle had been used throughout the entire period. Notes to the financial statements describe the change and explain the justification for the change in the policy. In contrast to changes in accounting policies, such as whether to expense the cost of employee stock options, companies sometimes make changes in accounting estimates, such as the useful life of a depreciable asset or the salvage value. Changes in accounting estimates are handled prospectively. It means from the current time period and moving forward with the change affecting the financial statements for the period of change and, and future periods. No adjustments are made to prior statements and the adjustment is not shown on the face of the income statement. Significant changes should be disclosed in the notes. Non-operating items. Among non-operating items on the income statement or accompanying notes, non-financial services companies also disclose the interest expense on their debt securities including amortization of any discount or premium. The amount of interest expense is related to the amount of a company's borrowings and is generally described in the notes to the financial statements. In practice, investing and ac financing activities may be disclosed on a net basis with the components disclosed separately in the notes. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.